Barely 24 hours after making public the request from President Bola Tinubu for 500 billion naira palliatives, the House has given its approval. Members commend President Bola Tinubu for the initiative, but called for measures that will ensure the fund benefits the people. The House agrees to also constitute a committee that will monitor the disbursement of the 500 billion naira. We should set up a committee, an ad hoc committee, to recommend the implementation of the palliatives and how these palliatives should be utilized by government. Update. <laughs> okay, I won't bring you now. I'll bring you update. Okay, start with this question. When corruption won't finish for Nigeria? <laughs> That's the question. Okay, now, then don't approve 500 billion naira hmm, for federal government, as in National Assembly approve after, after Tunubu apply for 500 billion naira as palliative for the citizen of Nigeria and now National Assembly don't approve her. That one no be that one no be that one no be new thing I want you to know. The why am I doing this video? Now when I don't they hear say they say they won't give twelve million household in Nigeria eight eight thousand naira. <laughs> okay now apart from that 500 billion remember the 800 million dollars when you change that 800 million dollars is 600 billion naira so we have 1.1 trillion naira already on ground corruption that is why i say when corruption could start go stop from nigeria that is why i say when corruption will stop for this our country nigeria now follow me uh, now, you have 1.1 trillion naira. You say you won't transfer this money to 12, to 12 households. Remember, and they say that they use the, the household register where they capture, <laughs> according to them, for... Uh, the Nigerian citizen register book and how they take get this register remember say they do the same thing for COVID-19 my question is another question <laughs> Una don't see you feel put on for comment session Una don't see anybody me I never see you <laughs> since 2020 after that COVID-19 this is after two years, I never see Hussein receive that palette with Boari pay. And now, Tunubu wants to use that same method. Take cash out. If Tunubu wants to use that cash out because he gets 1.1 trillion naira mm, for his disposal. Because we know, say this money, not they go, not they come the hand of us nigeria i no get my family members no get my church members no get people in abuja no get where i they live no get where i they work no get people where they relate to no get you know I, at least at least i have not seen one we get during that um covid 19 2020 and now you see once you use that same method Corruption never tire us. Tunubu, we are tired of corruption. And this time around, that is why we are talking. What you are supposed to do, my kind, if you did watch this video, share this video, make we make everybody for here. My kind advice is very simple. You know, for me, <laughs> you can invest this 1.1 trillion in transportation. Yes, subsidize it, invest in the transportation. Invest it in transportation for people to go to work, buy buses, BOT buses. Even me, I go park my car. They use BOT buses. They go wherever place where I want to go. Everybody go park their car. If you go Dubai, if you go Europe, that is what is happening. If you go London, everybody park their own car and use public transport. Both the high and mighty. Why can't we do it here? So, that 1.1 trillion is enough. Invest it in just transportation. 
invest in transportation for people to go to work, invest it for transportation for farmers to go to farm, to get access to farm, to get transportation to farm. So subsidize it at least for one year. And after which, then we will not be paying for the boss. But then, okay, who will now use his own motto? Go now, use his own motto. So, by so doing, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the pressure, the pressure will stop. Me, I know be president too, I know be advisor, but I get sense. I get sense, and I expect people to get sense. So, if you don't get sense, that means you won't chop our money, and you, I know, so now get sense. But now they find the sense to take up our money upon our head. <laughs> this one, it don't go work. Because now common sense, if you invest this thing on transportation, if you invest this money on transportation, subsidize it, all of us they go work. All so, some of us they go work, some of us they go places because of that transportation don't high. To travel don't high. So if you invest it on transportation, there's BOT that will carry you to different states, that will carry you to work, that will carry you to farm. It's touching every household, everybody. I'm telling you, everybody will go, go hustle for the next one year. Go hustle at a cheaper rate to put food for their family's table. That is what we are saying. What are we talking about? Then, whosoever wants to use their car, go now buy food at a high cost because you get money to their father. That is what is applicable. These people, they travel, they are the, you know, my own is that Tunubu now is, is, is traveling as if there's no tomorrow. Since he won the election. He knows. And he's a, he's a well-traveled man. Buhari is the most traveled president of Nigeria. He knows. And he's not doing that. That's why I say they get sense, but they don't want to do the right thing. They are sense they want to use to do corruption. Okay, make I not to talk. I want to show now this video. Make I for hear the facts of waiting that they talk about. Cor big corruption is coming. Hmm. You should set up a committee, an ad hoc committee, to recommend the implementation of the palliatives and how these palliatives should be utilized by government. We are all feeling the impact of subsidy removal all over the country. So we urge that immediately after approving this budget, that it should be used for the purpose intended. The House says it has now restructured the 819.5 billion naira in the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Act. That bill, which um, was for about 819 billion, was not only for palliative. The palliative component of that particular bill was 500 billion. That is to cushion the impact of the oil subsidy. A breakdown shows that 500 billion naira is for the palliatives, 185.2 billion naira for Ministry of Works and Housing to mitigate impact of floods, 19.2 billion naira for Federal Ministry of Agriculture to ameliorate the devastation of floods on farmlands, 35 billion naira to National okay. Judicial Council, 10 billion naira for FCT for critical projects, and 70 billion naira for National Assembly infrastructure. 